Good morning, this is Brian Rowley, Mouse Help at Roselle.com, where we provide compassionate care for people with computers. And you can get a hold of me in any number of ways. Contact me with a form. Come see me in my office. Send me an email, mousehelp at Roselle.com. And today, we are going to go over this topic, cropping and resizing images in Irfan View. If you don't know what Irfan View is, it's an image editing utility, and it's free. If you don't already have it, I have a link to how to download, a link to a video on how to download and install this program. You can just search for it here on my YouTube channel. There's a link if you don't mind typing in a complex URL. So we're going to walk through this twice, and I'll be as deliberate as possible the first time through. Then we'll run through a second time and more quickly. So you can always pause the video if you need to take notes or complete a step. And I will probably make some updates to this as I stumble upon them. So basically, you need to know how to name your files and how to find them in your folders. You need to know how to draw a box with your mouse. and also, we're going to lose, learn and use a few keyboard skills along the way. Control commands, which I'll point out to you as they come up. So, this one is going to be CTRL, resize. That's for resize. Okay, so step one, we're going to open an image with Irfan View. So, we'll start with the program with nothing in it. And then... If you want to open your image, you would click on this open button here. I've already chosen the folder where my images are, which is my public folder on my Dropbox. And for you, that's wherever you have your pictures or images. So let's go ahead and open this one, which I captured this morning. I was just playing around with something and you'll notice you get some details about the file that's open down here. This is its size currently. Here's when I captured it this morning. And so now what I want to do, let's say I want to cut out, I want this little box. Now let's do it twice. I'm going to get this box first, okay? So there's a box that's outlined by the ears of this German shepherd in the water behind this box. And this is all one image that I captured this morning. So. Let's go back and check my instructions. I've opened the image with Irfan View. I'm going to select the area I want to retain as my new image. Okay. So select the area means I need to draw a box. So what I'm doing, I'm clicking my left mouse button and I'm dragging down in a diagonal direction. And you can do the same thing from any corner, whichever way you like to do it, whichever way works best for you, you can draw a box from any corner, right? So top to bottom, bottom to top, it doesn't matter as long as you draw the box and it surrounds the thing you're trying to capture. So we're going to capture this little box right here. And I'm going to make it not perfect the first time because I want to show you. It's kind of difficult, and this is what I mean by fine motor skills, is it's kind of difficult to get exactly on the edges of anything. And even if you do, you may be surprised later when you find out that you didn't actually get close enough. So you may be one or two pixels off of the edge. Like here, I think I'm pretty close on this edge. It looks like I'm pretty good on this edge. But over here, I've got one or two pixels. And up here, I'm sure I've got at least one pixel. What happens is if I put my, if I put my selection tool there, you see how the arrows are? So you can move one side at a time after you've drawn your box. So you can try to close in on it like this. But you can also do this. If you have the arrows showing on your screen, you can use the arrows on your keyboard if you have them to the right of your control key and the space bar. That's where they are on my keyboard. So if I'm going, I want to go to the right. So see if I hit my arrow key on the keyboard, it goes one pixel at a time, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. And I'm going to go down Okay, so I'm probably pretty good on most of the edges. Looks like I'm off by a pixel here. But what I want to show you too is that what you've selected in your box is shown here. So I've selected this many pixels 
wide, that many pixels tall. That's the height, that's the width. Okay, so when I want to crop this, I'm going to go here under Edit, and I'm going to crop this selection. And it says Cut Out. This is what I'm talking about. I could do this without the menu, which would be about five times faster if I just hold down my control key and type the letter Y. Okay, so now we've cropped our image. And you can see there's maybe an extra pixel. You see how the extra pixels look on the edges? Ah, it's not that easy to see. I did a pretty good job with cropping that. But you could crop it again. So in other words, you could draw that box again. If you wanted to just cut out one pixel on this side, you draw the box around the whole thing and then bring in this edge just a little bit. And this time I'm going to do Control y Okay, so it cropped it. It took out that one pixel that I selected. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom and this edge too, just to show you that one more time. So you draw your box. Remember drawing your box? I'm starting outside here and you can't see the box being drawn until I hit the image. And now I'm going to use my keyboard this time and do an up arrow. Ah, that's not working for me. That's fine. I'm just going to go up one arrow. I'm going to go up one pixel with my mouse. I'm going to do the same for this side. So you can see there's some adjustments you can make even after you've cropped once. Okay, so control Y. And that did the crop again to just cut out a couple more pixels on the edges. So now I like my crop a whole lot better. So the next part of this is that currently the name of this image is called Capture. Not a very good name for an image. It says German Shepherd Dog Swimming here, so I'm going to name it that when I go to save it. And this is not in my notes, so I'm going to put it in my notes at the end here. I'll put step 6 file, save as, name your new image. Okay, so that's going to be one of the steps you'll do. You can do it after you've cropped, you can do it after you resize. I usually do it after this cropping, so I'm going to put that there as well. You can do whatever you like. So I'm just going to put it after cropping, I'll put save your image. Because all we've done so far is the crop part of it. So I'm going to go file, down here to save as, and I'm going to call it German Shepherd. How do you spell shepherd? Shepherd? <laughs> And it's not. Now this is where I said you got to pay attention to where your folders are, where you're putting things, because you can see the folder I came from was not this one. If you watch carefully in the next iteration I show you, you'll see we're coming from a folder called public. So I'm going to go back to that because it's in my Dropbox folder here. And I'm going to go ahead and save it there. Oh, it is Shepard with an H-E-R-D. Okay, I need to go fix that, so I will do that later. However, just to show you one more time this cropping idea. So, I actually cropped this image from a video where someone else was showing how to do this. So now I want to crop this little square. There. And Control Y. And then File, Save As. Resizing Square. Because that's what's in it. Okay, I can't stand it, so I have to fix it. Sorry, bear with me. Shep. Heard. There. Okay. So we've shown you cropping enough times and saving as, right? So you see the image itself is still thinks that it's this image. And so what happens is, if I go back to my I go back to my folder, Dropbox public. This is the original image. This is the one I saved already. This is the other one I saved from this image. So watch. This Irfan view is trying to preserve this. So if I go back in here and reopen, 
gives me back my original image. That might be useful to you, so I would always advise to do the file save as and give your file a name that makes sense for what you're trying to capture. We haven't covered resize, so let's do that next. I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to open this. I just took this photo this morning just playing around because I was trying to give you a good example of what you might, why you might want to crop or resize something, but anyway, it's a picture of my computer screen as I was preparing my notes for recording this video. So let's say that I want to, well, I need to put this in frame, don't I? Okay, let me put it in the frame. Okay, so there we are, we're in frame. And let's say, oh, this is a good one too. So let's resize first on this one because it, you can see it doesn't fit in my window currently and I know I want a smaller image in the end. So what I'm going to do this time is go to image and down here to resize, resize, resample, see control R. That's the fast way to get it done. Okay, now this is where the fun begins, which I think is what it says in my notes too. Yeah, down here, choosing your new size, I could go on for 10 more minutes about all the features that are in this window. But let's see what happens if, if I choose one of these sizes. These are called the standard dimensions over here. So right now I'm recording in, oh, it's not here. All right, I'll skip that part of the explanation. Let's say I want it to be 800 by 600. What happens if I just choose 800 here? Well, it's pretty, it's a, it's definitely giving me some standard sizes here. So if I go 960, you see I'm always getting a nice clean multiple here. So it's going to look nice. And when I say OK, what happens is now, see my image is smaller because the part that's not black is what the image is. And here, I'm now I'm going to crop after I've resized. So if I wanted to pick out just the part that has my computer monitor in it, you see it's not a perfect square because I took this photo with my camera. So I'm just going to try to get these edges and not worry about the right and left so much. There. So control Y, because we learned that command key from our other video, I mean from our other exer exercise. So here we are, and that's it. I mean, if you want to go back and play around with this, there are so many features in here, and now it's got a new width, so I'm going to take it down, let's say, to 720, just to give it a nice, let's, see, let's go 640. If I go to 640, see what's happening here? It doesn't have the ability to go to 480 because it just doesn't have that much room. But it's trying to—it's going to give you this part of the size and make that whatever you have to work with in your image. I guess that's probably a little complex for the purposes of this. So you can adjust either size, I mean either dimension, and the other one will auto-adjust as long as you leave this checked. And you can get away with unchecking that if you're not changing this value by too many pixels. Otherwise, you're going to skew your image. So just realize that this means it's going to try and preserve the ratio of width to height. Okay? And that's it. That's the whole demonstration on how to crop and resize images. This is Brian Rowley, mousehelp at roselle.com where we provide compassionate care to people who use computers. Here's the video. If you just search on Roselle on Irfan View or how to download and install Irfan View in my YouTube channel, you'll find this video on how to get it installed on your computer. And if you want to do some more research on Irfan View itself, just search it here and Google will tell you all about it. This is Brian Rowley, mousehelp at roselle.com. Have a lovely day.